The photography community is abuzz with rumors surrounding Canon's anticipated APS-C camera, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II. Recent leaks suggest that this model could introduce significant advancements, potentially reshaping the market. However, questions remain. Is this the upgrade enthusiasts have been awaiting? Let's delve into the leaked details. Assess their implications for photographers and videographers and explore the excitement and concerns surrounding this potential release. Multiple reports indicate that the Canon EOS R7 Mark II may be equipped with a 24.1 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor. While this represents a decrease in resolution compared to its predecessor's 32.5 megapixel sensor, the stack design offers benefits such as faster readout speeds, reduced rolling shutter effects, and enhanced low-light performance. This sensor is rumored to be paired with Canon's DIG-ICX processor, possibly alongside a DIG-IC accelerator, promising responsive autofocus, improved image processing, and efficient high-speed shooting capabilities. Video capabilities are also a focal point of the leaks. The EOS R7 Mark II is speculated to support 6K RA, W video recording, and 4K video at 120 frames per second, appealing to both photographers and serious videographers. These features signify a substantial leap in video performance for an APS-C camera. Additionally, discussions suggest a new body design, though specifics remain undisclosed. Questions arise about potential changes in size, ergonomics, and control layouts all of which could impact user experience. For action photographers, the rumored 30 frames per second continuous shooting is noteworthy. This capability would benefit sports and wildlife photographers who rely on rapid bursts to capture fleeting moments. The inclusion of C-Log2 and C-Log3 is also mentioned, offering filmmakers greater flexibility in color grading Moreover, a full-size HDMI port is reportedly part of the design, addressing durability concerns associated with smaller ports commonly found in mirrorless cameras. The anticipated price point for the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is around $1,500. This positions it in a competitive segment of the market, prompting discussions about its value proposition. The combination of a stacked CMOS sensor, advanced video features, and high-speed shooting suggests that Canon aims to cater to both photographers and videographers seeking high performance without transitioning to full-frame systems. This development indicates Canon's renewed focus on the APS-C format, potentially aiming to remain competitive in the high-performance crop sensor market. The features suggest a camera designed for action-oriented photography, appealing primarily to sports and wildlife shooters. For videographers, the EOS R7 Mark II could serve as a viable alternative to Canon's more expensive full-frame models, especially if it delivers on its video performance promises without issues like overheating or significant rolling shutter effects. Despite the promising features, certain aspects raise questions. The reduction in sensor resolution from 32.5 megapixels in the original EOS R7 to 24.1 megapixels in the Mark II is notable. In a market where competitors like Sony and Fujifilm offer a PSC cameras with sensors up to 40 megapixels, this move by Canon appears unconventional. However, Prioritizing a lower megapixel count could enhance speed and noise performance, potentially benefiting low light sensitivity and processing speeds, key factors for sports and wildlife photography. Another area of concern is the potential for rolling shutter distortion. While stack sensors typically mitigate this issue, the effectiveness of Canon's implementation remains to be seen. Additionally, the camera's ability to manage heat during high-resolution video recording is crucial. Previous Canon models have faced challenges with overheating, and addressing this will be vital for the EOS R 
7 Mark II's success among videographers. Battery life is another critical consideration. The advanced features of the EOS R7 Mark II may demand significant power, and if battery performance doesn't meet professional standards, it could deter potential users. Canon's silence on these leaks is expected, as the company typically refrains from commenting on rumors. Official confirmation and detailed specifications will likely emerge closer to the official announcement. The EOS R7 Mark II enters a highly competitive APS-C market. Sony's Alpha 6700, for instance, features a 26-megapixel BSI sensor with powerful AI-driven autofocus, making it a strong rival in the hybrid shooter segment. Fujifilm's X-T5, with a 40-megapixel X-Trans sensor, prioritizes resolution and color science, making it a favorite among still photographers. If Canon is focusing on speed over resolution, it may be targeting Sony's Alpha 9 series, which boasts ultra-fast burst shooting and minimal rolling shutter, thanks to stacked sensor technology. For video users, the Fujifilm X-H2S offers 6-point took open gate recording with internal ProRes support, an advantage over Canon's rumored 6KR at W. Sony's Bux 30, a cinema-oriented APS-C model, also presents stiff competition, featuring unlimited 4K recording, dual-base ISO, and pro-grade codecs. The EOS R7 Mark II must balance video quality, heat management, and autofocus reliability to stand out. Given the rumored specs, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II seems tailored for action photographers and hybrid shooters. Sports and wildlife enthusiasts will appreciate the 30fps burst mode and stacked sensors' fast readout speeds, minimizing rolling shutter distortion. Videographers seeking 6KRAW and C log support may find it a compelling APS-C alternative to full-frame cinema cameras. However, High-resolution photographers' landscape and studio shooters may hesitate, given the drop from 32.5 amp to 24.1 amp. The EOS R7 Mark II will need exceptional image processing and dynamic range to compete with higher megapixel of PSC and full-frame models. If Canon intends to solidify the EOS R7 Mark II as a top-tier of PSC model, it must address several key areas. Improved autofocus tracking, low light performance, and dynamic range will be crucial. Additionally, battery efficiency and heat dissipation should be refined to prevent the overheating issues that plagued previous Canon cameras. Another critical factor will be firmware updates and long-term support. Canon has the opportunity to refine features post-launch to enhance user experience. Providing robust lens support, especially in the RFS lineup, will also be vital for the camera's long-term success. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II, as depicted in recent leaks, presents a blend of promising advancements and contentious changes. The introduction of a stacked CMOS sensor, enhanced video capabilities, and high-speed continuous shooting positions it as a formidable contender in the APS-C segment. However, the reduction in sensor resolution and potential technical challenges necessitate a cautious approach. As with all leaks, it's essential to approach the information with a degree of skepticism until official announcements are made. The true performance and reception of the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will ultimately depend on real-world testing and user feedback following its release. For a more in-depth discussion and the latest updates on the Canon EOS R7 Mark II, you might find the following video insightful. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the official announcement of the Canon EOS R7 Mark II.